my God, how excellent is your name, O Lord, our God, how excellent is your name. How excellent, how excellent, how excellent is your name, oh, how excellent, how excellent, how excellent is your name, oh Lord, my God. How wonderful is your name, O oh Lord, my God. How beautiful is your name, how wonderful, oh, how wonderful, how wonderful is your name. How wonderful, how wonderful, how wonderful is your name, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh our God, how mighty is your name, oh Lord, our God. Is your name? Oh, how powerful! How powerful! How powerful is your name, Jesus? How powerful! How powerful! How powerful is your name? Thank you, Jesus. Father, I magnify you this afternoon. I call for your presence this moment. Father, come and take absolute control right now. Father, I invite your presence this afternoon. As we begin the month of September, Father, we begin in your name. Father, as we begin the month of September, we begin in your presence. We cannot leave you incomplete. Father, without you, we are incomplete. We come for your presence this moment. Fill this atmosphere right now. Father, we invite you right now. Come and take dominion. Come and rise in us. Let your spirit fill us. Father, set our hearts on fire. Set our mind on fire. We invite you, Lord God Almighty. Father, visit us this moment. Visit us with breakthrough. Let us start the month of September in, in joy, in celebration, and in happiness. Father, I declare, may you close every door that the devil has opened on our life that he is basing on that to, or passing through to affect life, passing through that door to destroy souls, that he is passing to bring financial crisis, that he is passing through to bring failure in us, disappointment in us. Father, we pray that may you arise this moment. May you arise this moment. Fill this atmosphere right now so that the enemy will give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. I welcome you this afternoon. Yes, we are still in our one-day fasting. I know a lot of you are doing it. A lot of you did not do it. A lot of you are doing it. A lot of you did not do it. You know, when we are doing something concerning our spiritual life, a lot of people do not want to be a partaker. When we do, when we want to build our spirituality, a lot of people do not want it. You know, many people cannot even go for, uh, can, they can't even do uh, 6 to 10 fasting. Yesterday, they call themselves Christians. Yesterday, they call themselves children of God. You always feed your body, but you do not feed your soul. You always satisfy the flesh, but you do not satisfy the body. I declare this 
one day fasting because the remaining month in this year is not a safe, a safe month. September, October, November, December. A lot of bad things used to happen during this, uh, this month. That is why as you begin the ninth month, you must begin in prayers. You must begin in God, with God. Don't begin with fresh. Hallelujah. Before we pray, I want you to take your Bible as you read the book of Psalm 61. It is prayer for protection. That remain that, that the remaining month, God will preserve you and your family. That God will protect you and your household. That your, your children will be preserved. Your husband, your wife, your mother, your father, if they are still alive. Your loved ones, that you will not lose any of them, that you will not share tears on the head of your children, that you will not see the demise of your children, but you see them alive. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter Psalm 61, verse number one to end. Psalm 6 1, the verse number one to end. Mm -hmm. Psalm 6 1, the verse, uh, Psalm 6 1, the verse number one to eight. It says, Hear my cry, O Lord. Listening to my prayer, in despair and, and far from home, I call to you. Take me to a safe refuge, for you are my protector, my strong defense against my enemies. Let me live in your sanctuary all my life. Let me find safety under your wings. You have heard my promises, O oh God. And you have given me what belongs to those who honor you. Add many years to the king's life. Let him live on and on. May he rule forever in your presence, O God. Protect him with your constant love and faithfulness. So I will always sing praises to you as I offer you daily what I have promised. Hallelujah. It is David's prayer. Mm -hmm. David was praying these prayers. Mm -hmm. That will give us long life. Satisfy us with long life. Today one of our members called me and I was telling her, as we are struggling on earth, many of you are living in a luxurious house. The house that you are living in, it is very, very expensive. But when you die today, they will put you in a casket that do not work. Very cheap. Cheap casket that they will put you in. But all your days you are laboring to build an expensive house. All your years on earth, you are building something great. But when you die, they will build something small and put you, your, your cups inside. Even if the family can afford to buy an expensive casket or coffin, people will tell him, don't waste on the dead. Because he's already gone. Because she's already gone. Mm -hmm. Pray for protection. Pray for long life. This afternoon we are here to pray. Because this morning I used a lot of the time. I couldn't lead a lot of prayers. So I want us to pray this afternoon. Before you break your fast, I know a lot of you can break it during 12. That is how you, you can, you can, depending on your strength. A lot of you break it at 2. A lot of you, even 10, you are ready to break it. You have to pray before you break it. We have to pray before you break the fast. Good afternoon, Elizabeth. I welcome you all. I welcome you all. Jerry, I will pray for you. Whatever you are going through, may it come to an end. As you have ended an old month and we are beginning a new month, I declare let all the old stories, let it come to an end. And let the new stories be written on your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command every obstacle in your way to move. I command every problem in your life to come to an end. Every problem that is wasting you, that is draining you, I declare, let it come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it come to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Let every unresolved problems in your life be resolved. Let every open door that the devil is passing through to afflict your life, let that door be closed permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover you and your entire family. I soak your soul, your mind, your body right now in the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want us to pray this morning. According to Isaiah 58, there are so many things that God wants us to do during fasting like this. One is to break your bread for the needy. Two is to, is to cover the nakedness of people that need it. Three is to lose the oppressed. If you have any problem with somebody, let it go. If you are keeping grudges, let it go. If you are planning to take somebody or to put somebody in jail, let it go, please. If you are in fasting, we don't hold all these grudges. When you go read Isaiah 58, when you are in fasting, make sure you, 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 how do you say it? You bless somebody that is breaking your bread. When you bless somebody, when you, you touch lives, when you do charity, every fasting, during fasting time, make sure you do charity. That is the principles. Don't do a dry fasting. A lot of you be doing uh, fasting from more than 30, 31 days fasting. You don't do charity. You don't, you don't lose the oppressed. You don't have compassion for people. You don't give. So why, how can your fastings be... Uh, how can God answer you during these days? So please, during fasting, make sure... Even if you don't have, make sure you touch the needy. Make sure you donate. Make sure you give. So that God will base on that thing and answer you during the fasting. It is so raining here in Ghana. It is raining. For the past six days, there is no chance. I wanted to go out to buy something because I, I, I want to I have to do direction for some people, but I can't go out. I can't walk in the rain and I don't have a car. So all those that I promise to do a direction for you today during my fasting, I don't think I can go now. It is almost 12, almost 11 here, and it is raining. I decided to go as soon as I, I got to the middle of the road. I saw the rain coming and I have to return home. It's not easy. It's not easy. So please, if you don't hear from me today, God willing, tomorrow, I will, I will get it and I will call you. God bless you. Yes. Carrie, you are welcome. You are welcome. I want us to pray. This afternoon, we are praying to God that whatever that stopped us last month, whatever that fought us last month, as we pray right now, let that thing live our life. Whatever that want that pursue you, that has been pursuing you from January, that want to pursue you in this month of September, as you open your mouth and pray this afternoon, let that thing catch fire. Open your mouth and pray wherever you are. Whatever that has been pursuing us from January to now, whatever that has been fighting us, the battles that has been fighting us from January to now, Lord, as you open our mouth to pray right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, let that thing catch fire. Let that thing catch fire. Let that thing catch fire. Whatever that wants to break me, whatever that has been fighting or contending with me from January to now, Father, as we begin the month of September, I declare I, I take dominion over that power and I break it into pieces. In the name of Jesus Christ, we take dominion over that power and we declare live our life, live the life of our children, live our home. In the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth. Father Lord, as we have come before you in our fasting this afternoon, we pray may your will be done. We pray let the will of the devil be aborted. Let whatever the devil has found concerning us, let it be aborted. We terminate everything that the devil has written on our head. 
We uproot everything that the devil has built on our head. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, we pray, let this month of September be a fruitful month. Let this month of September, Father, let it favor us. We come against whatever the devil has 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 planted, whatever the evil ones has programmed, every demonic writing, every proclamation, whatever they've decreed, as we begin to pray this afternoon, let it catch fire. As we begin to pray this afternoon, let it catch fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it catch fire. Whatever the devil has sent on our way, whatever the evil ones have sent on your way, on the way of your children, on the way of your husband, on the way of your wife, or on your business, or on your finances, Lord God Almighty, as we pray now, let us scatter, as we pray this afternoon, we scatter whatever the devil has builded, open your mouth and pray whatever you are, before you break your fasting, I want you to pray, I want you to pray, according to the book of Psalm 8 verse 2 it said out of the mouth of babies and sucklings and the Lord have ordained power to silence the adversary, to silence the devil to break their horns to scatter their horns to disarm them, to scatter whatever they build and what they build up from January to now we are in the ninth month whatever that they've been sending on our way, whatever that they've sent on your way, what they've sent on your children's way, what they've sent on your wife way, what they've sent on your finances, what they've sent on your family, to tear your family into pieces, to break your family into pieces. Lord God Almighty, as you pray right now, let it scatter by fire. Let it scatter by fire. As you pray right now, ancient of days, you are the God that scattered the adversary. Ancient of days, you are the God that paralyzed is the work of the devil. Father, as you pray right now, scatter the work of the enemy. Scatter the work of the enemy. Whatever that they have built it from generally to now, as you pray right now, Father, let it catch fire. Lord, let it catch fire. Let your will never be done. The Bible says, according to 2 Samuel, Chapter 15, verse 31, the Bible says, a man rose to conspire against a king called David. His name was Ahithophel, but later God turned the prince of Ahithophel to be foolishness. We are praying to God this afternoon that every prince of the adversary, every prince of the enemy, whatever the plan concerning you, whatever the plan concerning your household, concerning your finances, concerning your health, this ninth month, this month of birth, a month that we, we a month of manifestation. Let it scatter and let it be foolishness in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the plans of the evil ones be foolishness. Let their will never prevail. Let whatever they programmed never come to pass. We declare by the power of the Holy Ghost the word of the devil never prevail. We declare by the power of the Holy Ghost we are secured under the wings of Elohim. Our children are secured. Our family are secured. Nothing will travel threaten our peace nothing will threaten your peace declare upon your life as I pray this afternoon I declare by power and authority nothing will threaten my peace I declare by power and authority nothing will threaten the peace of my children the peace of my family the peace of my loved ones nothing will harm me nothing will draw closer to me that is from the pit of hell whatever that they sent from the pit of hell whatever they sent from the bottomless pit as we pray right now let it go back return the arrows back return the weapons back return the sicknesses back return the disease this is bad. Whatever they send on your way, as you pray right now, let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Open your mouth and pray this afternoon. Rabba Baba, let Kabiande, Makapa Yadosa, Lentorobo Masundayama. Whatever they are using to limit you, that yoke of limitation is broken. That yoke of limitation is broken. That yoke of limitation is broken. Whatever that they are using to limit you, by the blood of the Holy Ghost, we declare it is broken. That limit that they've set for you and your children, that you are not going to cross. I 
declare by power and authority, you are crossing now. You are crossing now. You are crossing now. The yoke of infirmity is broken by fire. The yoke of infirmity is broken. The yoke of continuous affliction. I declare by power and authority, let it break from your life. Let it break from your life. I declare upon your life this afternoon, whatever that is binding you, whatever the adversary have used to tie your hand, hey, let it leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it break. Let it break. Let it break. We are all God. According to Psalm 91, God Almighty said, I will deliver you from the snail of the fowler and from the nursing pestilence. We are praying to God this afternoon that whatever they've set on your way, that pit they've dug for you, waiting for you to fall into that pit. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you pray right now, let your enemies fall into that pit. The pit they've dug for you. The pit they've dug for your children. The pit they've dug for your loved ones. Waiting for them to fall. The pit of death. The pit of sorrow. The pit of financial crisis. The pit of imprisonment that they've dug for you. As I speak right now, let your enemies fall into their own pit. Let them fall into the pit they've dug for your children. Hey! Lord God Almighty, Lord God Almighty, as I pray this afternoon, let the evil trap grab their own leg, grab their own leg. Peoples concerning our life, oh Lord, let it come to an end. The wickedness of the wicked men, the wickedness of the wicked women concerning the life of your children, let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Expose the hidden enemy around your people in the life of your people. Expose them, oh Lord. Expose them, oh Lord. I release fire. I release fire to expose, to expose whatever they are propagating in the life of your people in the life of your children whatever they send on your way whatever they send on your way whatever they send on the way of your children lord god almighty release your mighty angels to meet them scatter it scatter it scatter it scatter it scatter it scatter it in the name of jesus because we are praying this afternoon you know the are there are people that has vowed not to let you be. They have tired you. They've tied you in one place where they see that you are making an attempt to free yourself. They arise. When they see that you are making an attempt to move forward, they rise. When they see that you are making an attempt to change things in your life, they rise. We are praying to God, any power that, that is behind the limitation that we are facing, any power that has vowed not to let you go, let that power be broken. Let God arise and scatter that power. As he arise and break the power of Nebuchadnezzar, let God break every stronger power, every stronger power that wants to suppress us, every power that have turned to be a canopy, a shadow covering you, that is preventing you from shining. Let God arise and release mighty fire to scatter their weapons, break their weapons, paralyze them, destroy their works in your life, and give you victory. This afternoon we are praying to God that as we are birthing, as we are going to give birth in this ninth month, Father, let there be testimonies upon testimonies. Let there be testimonies. Give me testimony to share to silence the adversary. Father, give me testimony. Father, give me a new song to sing. A new song to sing. Open door for me, O oh Lord. Let this ninth month be a man that I will meet my destiny helper. Let it be a man that I will receive help. Let this be a man that I will get a job. Let this be a man that I will draw closer to you. Let this month be the month of manifestation. Let it be a man that I will, a divine connection will be established. A month of testimonies. 
a month of new anointing, new oil, fresh oil, a month of divine breakthrough, a month of divine intervention, a month of divine settlement, settlement in my finances, settlement in marriage, marital settlement. Lord, let this man be a good man in my life, a good month in my life, a good month in my life. Open me, oh God, whatever they've covered me. Open the door for me. Wherever they've shut the door that I cannot go. Where they've shut the door that I cannot rise. Where they've shut the door that I cannot increase. Where they've shut the door that I can't do anything good in my life. Or I can't see anything good in my life. Open the door for me. I command the doors to open. Let the doors open right now. Let financial doors open. Let financial doors open. Let our loved ones that has been caged. Our loved ones that has been shut down. Father, lift their hands. Hold them and rise them again. Hold your hands and lift them again. Lord God Almighty, let there be manifestation in this ninth month. In this ninth month. In this ninth month. Give me testimony to share and I will give you glory and I will return with your praises, with your song to sing for you. Arise for me, O Lord. Arise for me, O Lord. And let the enemy scatter. Let the work of the evil ones come to an end. Let whatever they've done against me come to an end. Let whatever they've set on my way to limit me, O Lord. As we cry to you this afternoon, let it come to an end. Let it come to an end. Let what is tearing me down. Let what is fighting me. Let what is breaking me. Let what is stopping me. Lord, let it come to an end. Let it leave me. Let what is suppressing my son. What is destroying my son. What wants to take hold of my daughter. What is destroying my son's destiny. My daughter's destiny. Father let it leave my son. Let it leave my daughter. Let it leave my life. Lord. Cry to you this afternoon. I cry to you this afternoon. Let what is bringing tears in my family come to an end. Let what is bringing tears in my home every day from one problem to the other. When we wake up and we don't hear bad news, it is like we have no waking up. God, let all this come to an end. Let all this come to an end. Clash the head of the enemy for us. Arise and defeat the enemy for us. Arise and conquer the strong man for us. For they are mightier and stronger than us. We cannot fight them, O oh Lord. We cannot fight them, O oh Lord. Arise and fight for us. Arise and fight for us. Arise and fight for my children. Anything that wants to destroy the destiny of my children. Any power that wants to break my children down. Any power that wants to drive my children from the house to go and be a radical in the street. Lord, as I pray right now, scatter those powers. Scatter those powers. Anything in your home that is that is that is tormenting you at night. Anything in your home that is fighting your peace. Fighting happiness, fighting unity, fighting oneness in your family. As you pray this afternoon, Lord, scatter it by fire. As you pray this afternoon, Lord, scatter it by fire. Scatter it by fire. Scatter it by fire. The man that we are beginning, Father, we, we don't want to enter with this program. We do not want to begin with this program. Lord, arise for me. Speak on my situation. Let your speaking blood speak for me. Let your blood redeem my soul. Let your blood heal me. Heal my son. Heal my daughter. I spend all my money on medication, Lord. I need healing for my daughter. I spend all my money on medication, Lord. I need healing for my husband. Or healing for my wife. Or healing for my son. Or healing for my grandchild. Father, visit us this moment. Let there be divine visitation. Divine visitation. Divine visitation. Divine visitation. Lord Jesus. 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 This ninth month. Father, hold the hand of my father. Heal my daddy. Hold the hand of my wife. Heal my wife. Lord, heal me. If you are suffering from any infirmity. Cry to go heal me. Father, heal me. Forgive me even if I have offended. Forgive me even if I have gone wrong. 
Forgive me and have mercy. This afternoon, Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Mention the name of that person that you are interceding on behalf of. Mention the name if it's your husband. Mention the name of your husband. If it's your wife, mention the name of your wife. If it's your daughter, anybody that you are interceding, anybody that the devil has placed in a cage, anybody that the devil has taken captive of, oh God, set them free. Set them free. Set them free. Set them free. Right now. Let the stronghold of the enemy be broken. Oh Lord. Let the stronghold of the of the enemy be broken from my life. Be broken up my ministry. Broken up the life of my children. The life of my mother. My father. My brothers and sisters. Lord, set us free. Lord, deliver us. Lord, liberate us. Father, set us free. Lord, set us free. Lord, set us free. Father. That bring breakthrough in our life. You receive breakthrough. God fight our battles. We are tired of shedding tears. We are tired of crying. We are tired of weeping. Father, enough is enough. Enough is enough. As you are waiting this afternoon, bring visitation. Visit our life. Visit our children. Transform our life. Transform our children. Transform our loved ones. Transform our life. Transform our children. Transform our life. Bring transformation. Bring transformation. Transformation, oh Lord. Transformation, oh Lord. Transformation, oh Lord. Jesus. We cannot do without you. Lord, I cannot do without you father we cannot do without you oh lord we cannot do without you i cannot do without you i cannot do without you oh lord Oh, to something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord. Do something new in my life. Something new. In my life, to something new. In my life, oh Lord, yesterday is gone. Another day has come. Do something new in my life, yesterday. Is gone. Another day has come. Oh, do something new in my life. Sing it with me. Do something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new. In my life, oh Lord, I can never do without you. Oh, I cannot do. Oh, without you, I can never build without you. Oh Lord, Jesus. I cannot do without you. I can never do without you. Lord, I can never do without you. Oh, Lord. I say January is gone. Another month has come. Do something new 
in my life. Last month is gone. A new month has come. Oh, to something new in my life. Oh, to something new in my life. Something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord. To something new in my life. Something new, something new, something new. Something new in my life. Oh, Lord. A lot of you have wasted many years. You need restoration. A lot of you, you know the devil have delayed you. Already you are delayed. Something new in our life. Do something new, Lord. Forget about the voice. I'm not a singer. But I need something new in my life. God, do something new. Communicate with God right now. We are in the presence of God. As we are waiting, we are waiting to receive something. We are not waiting to, to afflict our, fr our flesh without receiving anything. No, we need testimonies. We need miracle. We need miracle. We need breakthrough. We need breakthrough right now. Father, give us breakthrough. Change my name. Change my story. Father, I'm being limited for a very long time. Father, all my friends are going why I'm being blocked. The enemy have arise to block me, Lord. I cannot go. Arise and defeat the strong man for me. Arise and paralyze them for me. Arise and break their cord. Break their horn and give me breakthrough. Give me victory. Give me breakthrough. Give me victory, Lord. Enough is enough, O oh Lord. Enough is enough, O oh Lord. Arise for my family. My family is being limited. There is a limitation in my family that is not allowing us to go. There is a limitation in my father's house that is not letting us be. There is a limitation in my mother's family that is not letting us be. Father, as you have come before you right now to wait this afternoon, Father, break that limitation. Lord, break that limitation. Let that limitation be broken. Let it be broken now. 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 Be broken now. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Give us breakthrough. Give us breakthrough, Lord. Give us breakthrough, Lord. Give us breakthrough, Lord. Jesus. 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 Our children are in bondage. Our children are, they've even left home. We don't even know the whereabout of them, Lord. Until when are you going to be silent? Father, when are you going to allow the devil use our children? When are you going to allow the devil drive our husband away? Drive our wife from the house? Father, arise this afternoon. We are crying to you this afternoon. We have come, let your speaking grace. Father, let your grace speak for us. Let your grace speak for us. Arise, O Lord, and let the enemy scatter. Arise, O Lord, and give us victory. And at the end, we will bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. If you are on it and you are sick, if you are watching me right now and you are sick, let me see in the comment section and I'll pray for you before I go. If you are sick, let me pray for you before I go. Jesus, everywhere he went, he was doing good. The mighty healer, he healed the leopard when the cripple saw him. They started walking everywhere he went. Mm -hmm. My Lord was doing good. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. Oh. The mighty healer, he healed the leopard. When the cripple saw him, 
they started walking everywhere he went my lord was doing he was doing good everywhere he went he was doing good the mighty healer he healed the leopard when the cripples saw him they started walking everywhere he went my lord was doing good thank you jesus touch your people for the heal them revive them open their eyes so that they may see open their ears and their understanding lead them in the journey of life we need you every day we need you every moment we need you every season Heal your people. Let your healing power possess them. Let your healing grace possess us. Father, give us testimony to share. After this meeting, after this short meeting, give us testimony to share. Cook our testimonies. Cook it in our womb. Let it manifest right now. Let it manifest right now. Let there be manifestation and we will give you glory. Thank you, Father. For an answer prayer in Jesus Christ's mighty name. We pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Before you break your fasting, do well to touch lives. Before you break your fasting, cover the nakedness of a needy child, a widow, a widower. Yes. Whosoever God lays on your heart, whether it's an orphan, whether it's a needy, a widow or a widower do well to touch lives. Most of the time when we fast like this, we are supposed to do charity. But you know, I didn't get it earlier. I didn't make any announcement. So wherever you are, if you can share your bread with those in need, at least let somebody say God bless you in this one day fasting. Let somebody say, God bless you. Let somebody say, God bless you. And it's going to be everlasting blessing upon your life. Please, touch lives. And God Almighty will bless you. God bless you for being with me this afternoon. Because of our time and because of our, our data. We don't have enough. That is why we are ending. But please... Keep reading the word. Draw closer to your Bible. Read your Bible. Pray again before you break the fast. And I'll be waiting for your testimonies. I'll be waiting for your testimonies. Because I know God is going to give you a miracle. God is going to give you breakthrough. You will get breakthrough after this one day effective prayers. Effective fasting. You get a result. May God bless you. May God honor you. May God remember you. May God do you good. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Let's share the grace as you go. If you want to Amen. give an offering, you can use Send Wave. You can use um, Pam Tap Send. You can use PayPal. You can use MoneyGram. You can use Soraya. You can use Zelle. Any medium that you want to. Uh, touch lives, you can do it, and God Almighty will bless you. Any medium that you can do to touch lives, do it, and God Almighty will bless you. All the givers in this ministry, may God bless you. All those that have been blessing the lioness today, <coughs> today, if you can bless one of them, do it, and God will bless you. If you can give them a sack of rice, a ten dollar, a twenty dollar, a fifty dollar as a seal to seal your fasting, do it and God will bless you. Because these needy children, when you bless them, heaven will remember you. It's not about getting big money. Don't wait to be rich before you show kindness. The little you have, do it because you don't know when you will die. You don't know when you will die. So please, whatever you have, do it and God Almighty will bless you. God bless you. Lift up your hands. Let's share the grace and go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. I am sure goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. So help me, God. Amen. God bless you. Love you all. See you again, God willing, tomorrow. Tonight, we will have we will not come live. We will not come live. And we will meet for prayers. We will meet for prayers. The one that we are doing it every Thursday. Every Thursday. So if you are nearby, you can join us. God bless you. Love you all for being with us. Being a blessing. Shalom.